what is going on guys welcome to the new year edition of the boys key tutorial and today we're going to make a smoke emission using n particles so let's take a look at what are we going to be making okay so what we have here is a simple SIBL environment or background a rocket simple model rocket and then the end particles the smoke emission that we're about to make okay so if you still don't know how to do a SIBL background you can always go back to the previous um, tutorial in this channel just watch it and I'm pretty sure that it will be very very useful for you very efficient very very powerful tool or technique for your rendered scene okay so let's get started what we have here is a simple scene the model rocket and then the SIBL background so first what we're gonna have to do is to create a simple emitter there we go and then let's bring this up Let's close this one and then let's press play. So by default, the emitter is emitting particles in an Omni type. So let's go back to our attribute editor. So emitter type Omni, let's change that to directional. Rate particles per second. Let's change that to 350. And then the direction, the axis, so let's change this so let's change this to negative y negative one rather because um we want our smoke to uh to pointing downwards and then the speed let's change this to 3.5 and then the spread let's change this over to 250. okay that looks good and then let's get over to our end particles shape one for the lifespan let's change this to constant change this to 10 and for the radius let's try 0.6 and then for the radius scale okay so let's drag this one and then let's make another one so that it will have a not so perfectly uh, cone shape but, but but good enough to look good or good enough to uh, to look as smoke emission as possible and for the re uh, for the input max let's try 3.371 then for the randomize 314 let's take a look okay then that looks good and then for the shading cloud um that's good and then for the surface shading point zero one point Okay, I think that would be, I think that's good. And then for the opacity, let's change this to 0.8. And then let's drag this down. And then let's drag this second manipulator all the way up. Okay. Or rather, let's do this way uh, there you go and then for the color let's change this white or let's add some yellow yellow color not that bright but um, a pale one and then let's add some red color. 
for the blue, let's change this to gray. There you go. And then for the input max, let's change this again to 3.371 and then the color randomizer 097. Okay, let's let's try this one. Okay. Okay, I think that's all we need right now. Okay. The next let's get our emitter and then we're gonna have to attach this using parent. Okay, let's try to center this as much as possible. Okay, and then recipe for parent, and then okay. All we need to do is to animate our model so let's say is gonna go up there you go and then let's try to render this out so in a minute now okay there you go so the very technique that I use to create this illusion is that the SIB hill has its own uh, lighting, uh, directional lighting, so that um, our smoke emission will have its own our shadow. So that's the very technique that we used. So that's about it. Um, I hope you learned something and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I do. And uh, thank you for watching. Happy New Year. Bye.